how to make the narcissist panic. How to make them experience sudden uncontrollable fear and anxiety. The narcissist will drive you insane. They will do everything they can to keep you off balance. To keep you shocked or confused. So you might be looking for a way to make them panic. To make them lose their balance. Because you can't deal with their tactics anymore. It's driving you crazy. They deny things that they've said or done. They project their insecurities onto you. They shift the blame onto you. They gaslight you. They engage in double standards and the double bind. And they want to make you think that you're crazy. They want to make you think that you're losing your mind so that they can then manipulate you and get you to do what they want. Sometimes there's no reason for them to lie or manipulate you. They could get what they want just by being fair or honest. But they believe that they cannot achieve anything great by doing good. They believe that they will only get what they want by, by doing bad. By lying and manipulating people. They believe that's the only way that they're going to come out on top. They see themselves as being unfairly disadvantaged. So they believe that they have to cheat to get the result that they want. They will persuade you to do what they want by using force or threats. They will intimidate you to keep you in a state of fear so that you remain under their control. You're constantly afraid that they're going to do something undesirable to you. You're afraid that they might try to hurt or expose you. You're afraid that they might try to take something away from you. They're always looking for your weaknesses or vulnerabilities. They're always looking for what you value the most. And that's where they're going to strike first. They will do whatever they think will hurt you the most. Whatever they think will make you panic. They will make you think that your life is going to be miserable if you dare to go against them. They will gossip about you to other people. They will have all of their flying monkeys supporting them. Agreeing with everything they say. So that if you dare to go against them. You're going to be the one who looks crazy. You're going to be the one who loses everything. Because the narcissist has managed to charm those people into thinking that they're this kind, caring person. So there must be something wrong with you. This is something that all narcissists do. They all want you to think that they're close to all of these people. So that you have no opportunity to say anything bad about them. Because everyone thinks there's nothing wrong with them. So they then think that you're the problem. Narcissists are very weak, fragile people. They are very afraid. They feel worthless 
and ins- insignificant, which is why they need so much validation, compliments or money from other people to make them feel like they're worth something. But they are very fragile people. They are very afraid. They might act strong. But if you push back against them, they will back down. One thing that really makes the narcissist panic is the truth. Narcissists are pathological liars. They lie about anything and everything. And they expect you to lie too. They don't understand how normal people think. They can't comprehend it. They assume that everyone is fake just like they are. They don't realize that there are genuine, authentic people out there. If you are completely honest with a narcissist in a direct way that does not attempt to disguise unpleasantness, it shocks them. It leaves them temporarily unable to react. They don't know what to say or do. Covert narcissists always play the victim. They're always sick. There's always a reason why they can't do something. They've got it worse than anyone. They can't work. Everyone's against them. Everyone's causing problems for them. There's always some reason to feel sorry for the covert narcissist. They have to be the victim in every situation. And if you call them out on it, if you just point out the facts, if you just say, There always seems to be something going wrong for you. They don't know how to respond. They panic. The narcissist always has to get what they want from you. And if you've been around them long enough, they will have trained you into giving them what they want. But when you push back, if you say no, they will be really shocked. They will panic. Because they thought they had you under their thumb. They thought they had total control over you. But when you stop doing everything that they tell you to do, when you stop agreeing with everything they say, it causes them to panic because they begin to realize that you're no longer under their control and makes them feel like their pet is escaping. One of the greatest ways to make a narcissist panic is to expose them, to reveal their true objectionable nature. There is a side of the narcissist that they don't want anyone to see. And if you expose that side of them, it will make them panic. There are a lot of things that they don't want people to know. They want people to think that they're perfect that they don't do anything wrong. And they go through great efforts to present this false image. So when you expose what's underneath the mask, it makes them panic. (laughs) 
Narcissists have to have control over everything. They have to have influence and authority over you. So that they can make you do what they want. They are very weak, fragile people. They are very insecure. So they have to bully you into submission. And when you try to push back against them, their behavior might get worse. They might become even more controlling. They might lie even more. They might become even more rageful and intimidating. They think that by doing this, it will force you back into their control. When the narcissist loses control over you, they will panic. And this fear of losing control is the reason why they do what they do. It's the reason why they deny something they've said or done. It's the reason why they gaslight you. They want to maintain their influence and authority over you because they're very insecure. So to make them panic, you can take away some of their control. The narcissist is like an emotionally immature toddler. They might try being nice first if they think it will get them what they want. But if that doesn't work, they will throw a tantrum. They will shout and scream. And if that still doesn't work, they will get even louder. They will even measure it by past experiences. What it took to get you to give in and give them what they want. They will assume that all they have to do is shout and scream a little longer and louder. And at some point you will finally give in. The narcissist is just trying to figure out what they have to do to get you back into their, under their control. And then they will be that much more mean and aggressive the next time to get you to do what they want. Because that's what makes them panic when they feel like they don't have control over you. When they feel like they can't get you to do what they want. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions, and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.